Alright, so in this lecture, I'll be giving you some basic knowledge that will help you to go through the course, along with teaching you the basics of colored pencil drawing. But, before we dive into that, I want to first walk you through all the tools and materials you'll need to complete the course. And, if you don't have access to all the tools or materials, or you don't have them, don't worry because they're fairly inexpensive and I'm going to tell you where you can find them. So, with that being said, the first thing you're going to need is the material you're going to draw on, which is going to be gray toned paper. The reason why we're using gray toned paper is because we're going to be using white colored pencils quite often, for highlights and other things. So, throughout this course, I'm going to be using this tone of gray paper. Whichever gray tone paper you get, it doesn't really matter if it's exactly like mine, just make sure it's gray. You can also, if you want, use brown tone paper, but I'm going to be using the gray, and I recommend you staying away from any colored paper except for the grays and brown. Also, try not to choose paper that's too dark or some of your colors are going to have a hard time showing up. So throughout the course, I'm going to be using this sketchbook full of 50 pages of gray tone paper that I got from Michaels. Now if you don't have a Michaels near you, you can probably find it at any other arts and crafts store or you can get it off Amazon. I recommend this sketchbook because the pages aren't too small and they aren't too big and it gives you plenty of paper to practice with throughout the course. Next, you're going to need a pencil sharpener. You don't need some electrical pencil sharpener or something big and fancy like that. All you need is something simple like this. Electric pencil sharpeners are going to break your lead a lot of the time because the lead in colored pencils are made out of really soft wax and isn't quite as strong as a normal pencil's lead would be. So your electrical pencil sharpener will just end up getting jammed a lot. But these ones are much more simpler and a lot more inexpensive and will sharpen your pencil to a very nice point. And if a piece of lead does get stuck inside of it, it's very easy to get out. So I got this pencil sharpener off Amazon, but I'm sure you can find it at any other arts and crafts stores. And just a little tip, remember while you're sharpening your colored pencils to take your time and go nice and slow so you don't break your lead and have a real frustrating time trying to get a sharp tip. And finally, the last thing you're going to need is the actual colored pencils. Now, in this course, we won't be using any ordinary colored pencils. We're going to be using Prisma colored pencils. So, you can get Prisma colored pencils in a variety of numbers in a set, but for this course, we're just going to be using the 24 count set. You can go a little bit higher if you want. It is going to be more expensive, but I don't recommend going any lower than 24. The reason why we're using these colored pencils instead of some generic regular colored pencils is because these colored pencils have special waxy lead that make it so you can blend with them very easily and make beautiful colors. I got my set of 24 colored pencils from my local Michaels for about $25. But you can order them on Amazon if you don't have a Michaels near you. Also, another nice thing about Michaels is you can actually buy individual colored pencils if you want. So, for instance, if you run out of black, you can go to Michaels and buy a single black colored pencil. When you have your colored pencils, try to avoid dropping them on hard surfaces or tapping them on your desk because the wax inside or lead is very fragile and can crack easily. So then when you go to sharpen your colored pencil, it's going to be breaking a lot and you're going to get real frustrated. And now when I say wax when I'm referring to the lead, it's not actually like a candle wax. I just say wax because it has a very waxy substance and you'll see that when you start drawing with them. But that's what makes it so you can blend with them so easily. The reason I say easily is because you can complete the course with normal colored pencils. So if you don't have Prisma colored pencils, don't worry, you can still complete the course. Prisma colored pencils will just make it easier to blend the colors together. So don't worry. So overall, it's pretty straightforward and you only need three things to complete the course. 
a pencil sharpener, the paper, and some colored pencils. Now, really quickly, I'll just go over the three basic things that we're going to go over in this first part of the course, which is going to be highlights and shadows, color scheme, and blending. These three things are the most basic things to colored pencil drawing. That's why we're going to go over them first so you can understand them a lot better. So stay tuned and later on in the course we're going to go over these in much greater depth.